A Swingin' Summer is a 1965 comedy directed by Robert Sparr and starring William Wellman Jr., James Stacy, Quinn O'Hara, Martin West, and Raquel Welch. The film opens with driving. This feels like I'm watching Manos, The Hands of Fate. Another bunch of college kids are going to Lake Arrowhead. Hopefully this time there isn't a serial killer. Coke is it! The Lake Arrowhead Dance Pavilion will not be open this summer. Seems the promoters had other commitments and everybody who was scheduled to work on Monday is now notified not to report. What a way to learn that you don't have a fucking job. But they decide, fuck it, we'll run the dance pavilion. It just might do it. Let's go on up to Arrowhead and talk to Mr. Johnson, manager of the village. Thanks for letting us know his title. That's okay by me. Man, I got a feeling this is going to be a swinging song. Title alert! I'm Rick Howe. How do you do? This is Cindy Foster and Mickey James. Oh, hello, sir. Oh. This young man is Turk Wallace, our head lifeguard. Turk Wallace? Wow, Turk Wallace? They negotiate running the dance, but it turns out they'll need a thousand dollars to do it. Which is $250,000 in 2021 money. Look at this move. Cindy returns and says her father will front the cash. Don't tell Rick. <laughs> I see. Well, I'd like to pretend that you uh, just changed your mind. That secret's going to come back and bite you in the ass. It's time to get to work, but first, water recreation. Hello? This is Rick Howe. You're in the water. Why are you getting the phone? I've got a feeling we're going to be here all summer long. Now get to work. While well, you go swimming, right? Here's Turk being an asshole. Sure, nail your sign to our building. It's cool. Is she using traffic cones for a bra? Smooth. Here's some more hard working. Thanks. I'm really having a good time. What the fuck are they playing? This is stalking. Push him off the ladder! Cindy wants some lunch, but Rick pushes her away. Then Gary Lewis arrives. Are we gonna get a musical performance? Yep. Wow. Just... Wow. This looks safe. That the chick you were talking about? So you guys are stalking Cindy. Looks like a swim wouldn't hurt you either. Oh, is that a medical opinion? Biological. People flirted weird in the 1960s. Big lifeguard. Hey, can you swim? What was that? Jesus, calm down. And they fucking leave. Rick and Cindy then argue about business versus having fun meaning she will get pushed in the arms of Turk by the end of this film. Yep, straight to Turk. There's some more stalking. Uh, Rick, uh, what time shall I report for work tomorrow? We can handle things. Oh, Rick, don't be such a martyr. What time? Look, I told you, we don't need your help. Yeah! Then a case of thirst breaks out. Excuse me, miss. No. <laughs> The name is Gypsy Boots. Oh, yeah, Mr. Boots. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Gypsy Boots. Whoever the hell Gypsy Boots is. Jerry then delivers her diagnosis. We're right. going to talk about it now. Okay. After all, I love you and I think... You what? That escalated quickly. But why me? Because I have faith in you. Somewhere under that rough, clumsy exterior, you have a mind. No, he doesn't. Rick gets attacked by a cougar who may be an old school friend of his mom's. Yeah, like goodbye, for instance. Oh, but you can't go yet. Why, I haven't even begun to explain your personality. 
I mean, if we're going to be lovers, I think it's only fair. Will you please stop saying that? She may be annoying now, but they're going to fall in love. Probably based on something stupid. The Thinker. There's some boating to some dance and Rick arrives with his cougar pal. Cindy talks to Rick and Turk reveals some information. Thanked her for what? For letting you play big man on her father's money. Turk, shut up! And they fight! It's like John Wick if John Wick sucked! Uh, this is not the mud wrestling I was promised. Rick wins, and wouldn't it be funny if the cougar was Turk's mom and he just rubbed that in too? Cindy talks to Rick again because it went so well last time and talks things out. So you Thank talked you. him into giving some to your needy boy. Oh, it was not a gift. He loaned it. 12% interest. I saw to that. 12%? That's illegal. Her dad's gonna break your fucking legs if you don't pay. And they're back together. Mickey and Tony have a pissing contest. Ends up in chicken on a boat, which is just as stupid as it sounds. Tony almost dies the end. Meanwhile, Turk hires some thugs to ruin the dance. Be Twenty bucks to each of you. Twenty dollars? Double it. Oh, so they're going to beat a man for a hundred and twenty dollars? Well, I guess that wraps it up for tonight. But the sun's shining. The goons attack, but they get ran off. Well, you did only pay $120. The goons grab Turk, and now the plan is to rob the dance. Oh my god, are we doing the whole, you know you'd be prettier if you took off your glasses and let your hair down thing. Jerry sings a shitty song, and Mickey approves. Now listen here, boy. I used to be a square. But now I found out I was really nowhere. See? Stupid. Turk gets in the office and they're robbed. Holy shit, they're chasing them with torches. Here comes a boat chase we all knew was coming with a Turk redemption arc. They end up on the shore kicking ass and getting the money back. If he dropped that in the water, it would be hilarious. And the film ends with The Righteous Brothers. A Swinging Summer is a dull film that would be rendered obsolete in two years when hippies with long hair and album-oriented radio would take over. These kids wouldn't be running a dance pavilion. They'd be fucking stoned, which would probably help in watching this movie. This movie is very predictable, and the whole goon plot at the end feels like it was just tacked on to finish everything up. Like a bullet. Other than a very early appearance of Raquel Welch, this film is of no interest. You have Lockjaw of the Brain. Come on!